Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to build a flow that sends outgoing emails from a shared mailbox. And I'm going to do that based on a SharePoint list item. So I've created the list here, which has the attachments are on by default. I've renamed the title field subject, and I've created a multi-line text field called body and a single line text field called two. So I am logged in as myself here, Peter Kelmstrom, but I want the emails to come from the IT Contoso mailbox. So I'm going to create the flow using that account. And an important thing is here that I, Peter Kelmstrom, do not have the permissions to send from that. So the IT Contoso account is going to pick that up and send it as itself. So I don't have to manage the permissions in exchange for sending these emails. So I want people to send the emails using these lists and I can just manage the permission on the list, not on the Exchange mailbox. So I'll go over here where I'm logged in as the account and the mailbox, of course, and I'm gonna go to flowmicrosoft.com. And an important thing here is that I'm gonna be working with attachments. If I was skipping the attachments, then everything would be much simpler, but the attachments are a bit tricky. So we're going to do that now and I'm going to go into my flows and create it from blank. And of course, we're going to start with a SharePoint list item. Got it. When an item is created. Now we have to point out which address we're working with, the IT site. And it's going to be the outgoing email. If you don't have these in the drop down, then you have to enter custom values for them. So I'm going to rename. Uh, I usually rename all the actions. That's a good idea. Uh, item created. I usually try to do it in camel case. Then I recognize that these are the ones that I've created. And now we're going to uh, get the attachments for this item. That's the tricky part. So I'm going to create an action to contain all these attachments. So of course, we want to support several attachments also. So I'm going to have the variable for an array that contains the attachments. That's going to be of the type array attachments. And I'm going to rename that to init attachments. And then we're going to get all the attachments from the current item. So add an action, it's going to be a SharePoint action. Get attachments, there we go. Again, same site, same list, and the ID of the item created. So let's just search for the ID. I won't find it because it has to be under see more for some reason. There we go, the list item ID. So that, now I have the attachments uh, array here. I'm going to rename that one also, just to make sure. Get attachments. And then we're going to loop through those. And we're going to do an apply for each. We're going to do that based on the body of the get attachments action. I'm going to rename that too, just for clarity. Loop attachments. That's what we're doing here, right? So for each attachment, I'm going to get the, the contents of that attachment. That's another SharePoint action. Get attachment content. Again, we have to point out the site, the list name, the ID of the item. There we go, the ID now, and then the file identifier. And that one is this one, get attachments ID. So now we have the attachment content, right? So I'm going to rename that also, get content. And now here comes the really tricky part. So we're going to add the attachment content to that array that we added above. So we're going to work with a variable. And we're going to append to that array, append to array variable. Of course, we're going to be working with the attachments. And here's the value. First of all, this is going to be a JSON object. So that's going to be with curly brackets. And it's going to have two parameters, the name 
And the next one is going to be content bytes. There we go. And then just a colon there. And between the, for the comma there, we're going to put the name in there. That's going to be simple. We're just going to pick that up there from the display name of the attachment that we're working on. And then the content byte, that's going to be a bit tricky. So we're going to have to build an expression for this. I got this by Googling quite a bit and found an article by Django Loon that helped me a lot with this. So the expression is going to be body. And then we're going to indicate that, that this is a string. And then we're going to use the name of this get content action. If you have any spaces in your action name, you're going to have to replace them with underscores. And then we're going to use the dollar content action. You don't get any IntelliSense for that, but that's the way it should work. So let's click OK on that. I'm just going to rename that to make it proper. Append attachment. There we go. So now we have a JSON representation of each attachment there. And now we're finally going to send email. And of course, we're going to do that outside this loop. I'm going to do a new step, an action to send email. It's going to be an Outlook action. Send an email. There we go, send an email. And now we're just going to specify the details for that email. And let's make sure that we find the right one here. Item created, that's the one we, the action that we get these items for. See more there. So we have the body, let's just pop that in there. Body, perfect. And then the subject. And the to field. Right, so now we have the, uh, the email address, we have the subject line, we have the body, and under advanced options, we have to make sure that we specify that this is HTML, and also that the importance is normal, and it defaults to low for some reason. Anyhow, then the tricky bit here is uh, making sure that we put this attachment not as attachment number one, but as the full array. So we're gonna click on this button to switch between adding an array and attaching a single item. So we want an, an array, which we've put a bit of work into doing now. So let's add the full variable there, attachments. And that should be it. So let's try this beautiful long thing. Save that. Of course, this gets to be a rather long one. So let's just send. It's a good name. And now we're going to test it. I'll perform the trigger action. Save and test that. Let's do that as another user. Let's do that as myself, Peter. So the two, I'm just going to copy my own email address here. There's my email address in this test account. Copy that. Subject, test subject, body. I don't have any good ideas for a body now, but I do want it to show that I can indeed put text in here. So row one, row two. And let's just make sure that these are bulleted list and with some color on it too. Perfect, so now we have a rich text body. And finally, we're going to add attachments to this item too. MS forms, that would be perfect. And then we'll do the department dash, all right. So we'll save that now and let's see if the flow picks up that I created this new item. Doesn't seem to be picking that up. Let's go back to my flows. Leave the page for now. See my flow send email here. And it succeeded 30, 13 seconds ago. There I can see the entire flow that what everything happened, how I built everything up. And you see I found two attachments there. And I can see the uh, pen attachments where it's building the whole JSON mess that we created there. Good, let's go to my mailbox and I'm logged in as myself, of course, there, Peter. Let's go into my mailbox. 
and see the email. Test subject, row one, row two, and here are the attachments being rendered now. There they are, the department, uh, department's dash is being picked up as it should, and you see the email has been sent from the IT account also. So everything is working as it should, and that concludes this demo. Let's go through the workflow what I'm doing here step by step. First of all, we're reacting, we're having the trigger, for the item created, we're initiating the attachments variable, which is an array, of course, and then we're looping through the attachments in that item that I just created, and then we're looping through those, and we're picking up the content from the SharePoint item, the file, the current attachment, and then we're adding that to the array that I created before using the expression that was kind of tricky to build up there. Let's just double click that to take a look at that again. Right, seems I can't get into that, that one now, but it's uh, working as it should anyhow. And then we're sending the email, picking up the two and the subject line, and we're picking up that array and setting the importance to normal and HTML to yes. All right. That works rather well, except for me not being able to get into that function again. But you can actually see it if you hover over it like that. Body, get content, and then the content of that. All right. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.